Okay, so this is a short video clip that's going to talk about, I'm going to talk about Cambridge uh, A-levels at Korean International School. So the first thing I'll do is give you some background on myself. Uh, I'm a PhD graduate. I have a doctorate from McGill University, which is a very good university. And I have 35 years of experience teaching in many different countries. And I, I've worked with curriculum from uh, United States, uh, Hong Kong, Singapore, Canada. So I've, I've been around quite a bit and uh, I understand the A-levels in that perspective. Okay, uh, you should understand that um, Korean International School has an English section and that we are a Cambridge school. Uh, we follow Cambridge programs of study in reception all the way to year 13. That means we have Cambridge International Primary Program, Lower Secondary, Upper Secondary, and the A-Levels which I'm talking about today. The A-Levels are offered in year 12 and year 13 at Korean International School. Uh, because we're a small school, we can't offer, no school can, we can't offer all of the courses. So we've decided, and I think it's a good idea, we have a focus, which is uh, a preparation for business studies. So we offer three courses uh, in year 12 and 13, ba basically business studies, mathematics, and psychology. So we say they're at the AS and A2 level. Then in English language, we have just AS preparation. That's basically a course in writing and we have two optional courses that means you you can or you de may decide not to take them and that's Mandarin and art and design okay who should apply to uh, this program we feel any student that's serious about getting into a selective university should think about Cambridge uh, A-levels um, we think this is a passport uh, Cambridge is well recognized and you can basically get into the university of your choice if you have good grades. Particularly, this video is presented, is directed to students who have completed HKCEE in Hong Kong or IGCSE in another school. Okay, and if local students feel that uh, the HKCE which is going to be phased out if they're worried about their, the risk in Form 5 and Form 6 locally then we feel KIS Cambridge A levels is a good alternative. Uh, we need students of merit. We want to get students who have very good grades into this course and we're prepared to offer scholarships to do that. So students who uh, have an HKCE subject or an IG IGCSE subject at A, A grade would receive a 20% deduction in school fees reduction. Uh, B grade is worth 10%. So to give you an example, if a student, uh, let's say a Hong Kong student had 1A and 3B in HKCE, their school fees would be reduced in half. And that would apply for the full two years of the program. So uh, instead of paying 8450 a month, they would pay 4225 a month. Um, a good question would be why choose this program? There's so much choice in Hong Kong. Uh, you should understand that IB and Cambridge are not that different. That both are quality programs and we feel Cambridge is just as good as uh, IB. We're an experienced Cambridge school. So we've been offering Cambridge since 1994. Special features in our school include native English speaking teachers, very small classes, in school preparation for TOEFL and IELTS, uh, everything online, grading, lesson plans, and homework. And we offer tutorials after school from 3 to 4.30 with the teachers of the different subjects. That basically is the end of the presentation and if you want to apply to the program I encourage you to go online to see the application forms or to contact the school directly. And I would enjoy meeting with any student or parent who feels this would be a good program for you. Thank you very much.